In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pause to ask God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, we may be defended always by your protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul, Let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him. You are only a youth, for he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord, who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear, will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then, staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in the pocket of the shepherd's bag. With the sling also ready to hand, he approached the Philistine. With the shield bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he had sized David up, and since seeing that he was a youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance, the Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you can against me with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his God and said to him, Come here to me, and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, but I come against you in the name of our Lord of hosts the God of the armies of Israel, that you have insulted. Today the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All of this multitude too shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David ran quickly toward the battle line in the direction of the Philistine. David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone. He hurled it with the sling and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow, and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him. With the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from his sheath, he dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the Lord, Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord my rock. rock. My refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust, who subdued people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give glory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord, 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 Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. 
He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the story of David and Goliath is the story that is repeated continuously in Scripture from the very beginning to the very end. And that is that it does not matter who a person is that is chosen, whether they, the world says they're too young or too old or too uneducated or too this or too that. God uses everyone and can take the little and make them great in the midst of the powerful. He uses David, a shepherd, with his staff and his stone slingshot to conquer the nation of the Philistines. And not only that, but, but many times the Lord chooses the little ones, the small ones, the ones that account for nothing in order to accomplish his great work. Because ordinary, becomes extraordinary in the hands of God. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> we turn now to the Lord our God and ask him to hear the prayers we offer. For all members of God's holy church, may the Lord give us strength and courage in our mission of spreading the gospel let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For world and national leaders, may God grant them wisdom and patience in striving for more just societies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those whose lives have been ravaged by religious persecution or violence, may the peace of Christ uplift and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the faith community gathered here, may God provide healing and comfort for any burdens that we carry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may God welcome them into his loving embrace, most especially for Mary Starantino being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? For my nephew Jackie, who will have been his 68th birthday, that the Lord give him for a rest we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That you come to help Bill and uh, all the sick and the dying and also in purgatory that you pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our daily mass sister Jean Schwartz, for prayers for comfort, peace, and strength, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear the prayers we offer you today and answer them according to your providence, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless Bless us. Us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless you, God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And and with your spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in gladness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ the Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Mary, remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of Christ. The body 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 of Christ. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, the true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, all. Thank you.